Hi everyone and welcome to Calm Creations Craft Tube Floss Tube. My name is Tia. Today I'm going to do a little bit of work on my vintage sewing journal which is a project that is being run by Susanna from Vintage Blend Studios. Um, the first block was the cover which is this. So this is my journal that it's going to be going into. So I've done that one. And then block two is the cross stitch, which I'm working on this one here. And it is a free pattern online by, um, open, this is called Open Hearts, and it's by Jill Nama. Um, it's a free pattern, yeah, online. So I'm still working on that. But then I jumped ahead and started working on block three, which is the English paper piecing. So I've put together all of my pieces, scoot that in there, and now I've just got to sew those all together. So I thought I would start on that today with you. Um, but what a weekend I've had. So... Where do I start? Thursday, <clears throat> I went and met up with Corinne from To Be Loved Treasures by Corinne. And what, um, when I got there, I was waiting at the um, coffee club near my work. And um, then Corinne came and they surprised me and Susanna was there. So... Um, I got to hang out with both of the lovely ladies for an hour and a half before I had to go to work. Then they came and did some shopping at work and um, then carried on with the rest of their day. So that was really, really lovely surprise. I was just blown away. And then we organised a um, craft day at Corinne's house. So, oh boy, oh boy. <coughs> And I didn't do an awful lot of stitching, but I did do some. But I got to see all of her absolutely amazing creations in real life. I got to fondle them. I got to just sit there and there's so many distractions. I just, um, yeah, every time I sort of looked up, there was something new to look at. And yeah, so that was really, and I spent the whole day there with them uh, yesterday. So Susanna heads off home today back to um, to Melbourne and um, yeah it was it was a really really good day. I got fed and watered and it was great. So that was my past couple of days. So now today's Monday. Um, I don't work Monday so I'm home and I'm going to work on this. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try and do a little bit of batch filming so that I can have a few videos go up throughout the week. We'll see how that goes. So this is video one. Um, and I'm going to put these pieces together. But what I did get, and I was whew, very excited. Um, if you watch Corinne's video, she has used, this is her book, published by her, so, um, and it's an embroidery book, and she's used some of the patterns in her Down the Garden Path project that she she did, so, and this one you'll recognise, um, but she gave me a copy of her book, and it was so exciting, um, so there's going to be lots of things in here I can, can use, Oh, I just love the the style. She's used the wheelbarrow in her garden path. The birdhouse she's used. So, um, and I even saw the actual. So this is for a quilt. I actually saw the real quilt, um, which is this one here that she had done, and it is absolutely stunning. So that was very exciting. But she gave me a copy of her book. Yay! So, but it is available on her Etsy store, on Corinne's Etsy store. 
um, I will link both um, Corinne and Susanna's websites and Etsy stores down below and the YouTube channel so you can go and have a look I'm pretty slack at linking stuff but um, I will make sure I do that today when you see this video so that is that and then they also showed me some sneak peeks of up-and-coming projects which are all hush hush mum's the word can't say anything but one of them I'm going to be part of um, as a little collaboration and that's also another thing we're working on at the moment too so but today we are doing English paper piecing I'm going to sew my little well it will be a hexagon when it's finished my little hexagon together um, and that's what we're going to do today so this is my little pouch that I made a hundred years ago it's all English paper piece hexies um, and I just keep all my hexy stuff in there um, so that's what I'm going to do today is oh gosh look at that <laughs> we're running low I'll have to get some more um, that's what I'm going to do today is put this little page together um, because the cross stitch I can sort of work on any time but obviously I want to get it done sooner rather than later that's going to be too fat a needle I think where did my other one go I'm sure I just put it in here that's a beading needle we will try that one and see what happens I think it's too fat we will see so yes it was a a wonderful wonderful um, weekend on the Saturday we went up to the Sunshine Coast and spent the day with um, with my middle daughter she's just moved into her new house so my husband and son were um, employed to put together flat, flat pack furniture so that's what they did um, and we had lunch with her and came home so it was a, a lovely day up there and then this morning I woke up at my usual stupid o'clock and it is absolutely thundering and lightning it's sort of stopped now so um, but yes we did need the rain it's getting a bit dry but yeah I was not expecting that um, so that came out of absolutely nowhere So if it starts up again and you hear any bad words, I do apologise. I do um, I don't get scared. I love a good storm, but when it's sudden and it just gives me such a fright and yeah, bad words may come out. <clears throat> so but it's perfect crafting weather well any day is a good day to craft but you don't feel so guilty when it's pouring down outside so this is what I'll be doing today I've got a little list that I scribbled down of um, videos I'm going to try and get filmed today try and get a few done so that I can schedule a, schedule them up for the week so if that works then we'll try and continue that um, 
so that we've always got something. I'm always working on something. So now I've never done this shape of um, English paper piecing before. I've only ever done hexagons, so this is good to get out of the comfort zone. I'm working on a hexagon quilt too, which I haven't done any for a while. But yes, I've never done anything with different shapes. And um, it's good to get out of the comfort zone. one. I do mine, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit differently. I do a, an invisible stitch rather than a whip stitch um, when I do mine. And I do the traditional um, thread basting rather than, than the glue basting. Um, so yeah. next piece so if I just add all of these all the way around um, I might just want to trim those little bits I might just snip a bit off there a bit off there So yes, I had a fabulous day yesterday, as you would well imagine if you're going to Corinne's house. And having both their expertise on hand, <coughs> <clears throat> because I learnt yesterday how to thread paint. Um, it was great having them both there to show me how to do it because I'd never done it before. So, Which I will show you um, in a coming video what I'm doing. And I got to meet the lovely Pepper and Bandit. Um, they and a little fudge. So it's it's amazing when you watch someone's channel. You you know you learn all their family members and all their pets and. So it was lovely to see those two. Peppa is just beautiful. She is such a stunning colour and um, yeah she's she's a lovely girl. And then Bandit, the big baby. So they always make themselves known in Corinne's videos. Um, Fudge was a bit shy, he didn't come in till the end. And so, yeah. But it was a wonderful, wonderful day. Before I know it, it was time to come home. So. Right, I might pause this video because this will be quite painful to watch and 
when I come back I'll have my little shape all put together. So I will be back soon. Okie doke, my little hexagon's all finished. So I have starched it and pressed it. So now I'm going to take out all my basting threads and um, add it to a page. So that's going to be fun. So where's my clicking? That will be, I think, the easiest way to get them out. I really enjoyed doing that shape. Um, that was lots of fun. So I've got to get out all the basting stitches and the papers. So sit here and pull all those out. That was heaps of fun. I enjoyed that and it went really quick. So that was good. And that one was connected too. So sit here and make it a little pile of oops. Where's that one connected to? I don't know. Under there somewhere maybe. I could even leave the papers in. That would just give it a little bit of um, stability. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll sit here. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I will. You don't have to take them out. Um, because it's not going into a quilt and it's not going to be washed. Um, the papers can stay in there. So, we might do that. I mean, it's going to keep its shape anyway because um, it's going to be in a book. So, where are you? Aha, uh -huh, you're the beginning. Let's jump over to here. This is the satisfying part, is removing all these basting threads. Okay, so I might pause again, remove all of these basting threads and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I think this is how I'm going to do this page. I'm go so I've taken out all of the threads, all the basing threads, and I've ripped a piece of the cotton ticking in the pink, and I'm going to attach my hexagon to this page. I've got to write in the... the words, so the English paper piecing, so if I did it that way I'll have more space, if I do it on an angle I'd have to move it up higher, yes, so I'll do it like that and then I'm going to decorate this pink piece and then attach this page to my book, so I need my light pad which is buried because I don't think be able to see the words. No, so I'm going to get my light pad out. I'll put this away and carry on with this little bit because I have to trace those words, stitch them. I'm going to stitch this to this and then I will be back. 
Okie doke, back again. Um, I have traced on my words it's down the bottom, English paper piecing. I've positioned my hexagon on the fabric and I'm now just blanket stitching around the edge to secure it down. And then I will decorate a little bit more and um, next time you see it, it will be finished and in my book. So I will leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks, bye.